It's a Game Boy Color. Mm. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your Top Gun boy, Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. <laughs> yeah, baby, it is Five Thrift Store Friday, and I'm already jazzed up, ready to hit up these thrift stores, starting with old Thrifty Pants over here, and head in there and see what kind of goodies they got. We on the hunt for vintage and retro toys at the thrift store. It's awesome when you find vintage toys or retro toys at the thrift store. It's just like, there's no feeling like it, man. Like, it's like, tell me what, tell me a Target or a Walmart that you can go into or any other toy store, any big box store that you can go into and find toys from the 1980s or the 1990s or the 1970s. You can't. The only place you can get that is here, uh, unless you want to go to a flea market or maybe a yard sale or a garage sale or something like that. But the thrift store, the thrift store produces those kinds of toys. So anyway, I've been talking too much. We need to head in there, see what kind of goodies they got. Keep our fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. All right, well, let's see what we got on the shelves today. Bottoms up. What's this dude down here? Oh, okay. He looks like, like he's missing a hand over here. Oh, we got a big box. What's in the box? Let's see. Oh, nothing up there, just a bunch of junk. Let's uh, walk around the other side of it. Anything in here? No, just a lot of... Activision uh, Skylanders. But other than that, there's not a whole lot in there. These shelves look like they got a lot of baby toys on them today. What's this over here? Uh, it looks like it takes batteries, but it's not working. We got a little Joker mobile over here. We got a Hulk fist. Hulk smash. Hulk smash. What's this back here? We got a TMNT. Oh, he's missing his shell. I don't know if it's on the counter here anywhere on the shelf. Maybe I'll look around for it. If I can find the shell, I'll snag him. Looks like he's got some wheels on the bottom. Causes him to move back and forth. All right, well, let me see if I can find his shell. We got some Star Wars. Got some Marvel over here, some Captain America, and Iron Man. Yeah, there's another Cappy. Oh, what's this? Oh, check that out. Got these, uh, look like little wooden planes, actually. Yeah, they are. They're made out of wood. And they got little strings. Looks like maybe you can hang them. This is a German plane. And then, uh, yeah, these are like, you know, from World War One. That's kind of cool. How much do they want for that? Well, originally it was $6.99, but what do they want? Uh, I'm not seeing a price on it anywhere. And what do we got here? Mercedes Benz. Looks like something James Bond would drive. And down here, what's this? Is this like a little robot? Kind of looks like a little robot. Oh, there's a little ball inside of it. Is it a game, maybe? Oh, we got a Lego, a carrot, a carrot house with a little bunny rabbit. Is that $16.91 for that? Holy cow. Nah, right? It's, is it six, maybe it's $6.91. It's $16.91. And uh, it sells for like 10 to 15 bucks on eBay. This is like way overpriced. Get out of here. What's this? Discovery Kids, Scanopedia. What's this back here? Oh, that's cool. That's actually really heavy. $8.99. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna look him up just to see what he's worth, but nine bucks seems a little outrageous for that all right so it turns out this is like a picture frame holder 
So you'd put like a piece of plastic uh, in between his hands, uh, like a plastic picture frame, and then you would put like a picture in it. <laughs> um, they sell for about 19 bucks on eBay. I just need to look and see how many of them have sold. Uh, they want $9 for them, so it could be like a quick $10, $10 flip possibly, because I know Disney stuff does sell, but if there hasn't been a lot of these sold in the last 90 days, it's probably not gonna be worth it to get it because I don't wanna sit on it forever and I'm not interested in keeping it. So I'm gonna put them back on the shelf for right now. I'm gonna take a look around the store and do a little research on eBay in the meantime and uh, figure out whether or not I'm gonna pick it up or not. So, but uh, let's head to the back of the store in the meantime and see what they got back there. Ooh, look over there on the cart. She's got some new toys that are coming out. All right, what do we got over here? We got a Spider-Man bucket, a TMNT lawn chair for kids. Got this big plushy dinosaur. Well, oh, check this out. This Dr. Seuss like coat rack or something like that, right? I'm assuming that's what that is. Oh no, there she goes with my cart. I'm gonna have to follow her in hot pursuit. All right, well, we're over here in the plushy section. Oh, check out those french fries. It's kind of fun. That'd make a cool display piece, you know? Just put it in the background in your toy room. It's like a box of McDonald's fries. Dang, look at this big old plush of Bucky. I don't know if you guys have Bucky's where you are it's a big convenience store and they've got like barbecue sandwiches there and beef jerky and they have they make their own fudge like it's a really cool place very popular down south here especially in texas but uh yeah i wonder if that's actually worth something and check this out we've got a build a bear build a bear workshop pokemon squirtle these things i just checked them out he sells for about 30 bucks. Looks like they only want $2.99 for him, right? I'm gonna pick this dude up and I'm gonna flip him, man, for 30 bucks. Yeah, I'll do that all day. Looks like I might need to maybe clean him up a little bit, but that would be a 10X flip, man. Turn around, flip him on eBay for $30. I'll do that all day long. Check this out. We got a Teddy Rock spin. What year? Uh, well, originally 1985, but this is a 2017. I thought, I didn't think he looked vintage, but that's cool. I'm gonna see if he's worth something. Yeah, they want six bucks for this dude, and he only sells for like 10 to 13 dollars. So we're gonna put him back. But I am gonna get the Squirtle, and I am gonna get these French fries just for my my bunker, my abode, my toy room. So. All right, um, I think we might be done here. That cart that had the T-Rex on it, I don't know where it went. I think she might have taken it back in the back. In the back. So anyway, um, if I can't find it, uh, we're gonna call it a day here and we're gonna head off to Goody Will next. So let me see if I can uh, see what she did with it. Ah, here they are. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they've been, so these must be the new stickers they're putting on stuff versus writing on them with uh, that chalk pen they use. Yeah, $5.99 for him. Maybe if he were $2.99, but I'm not gonna spend six bucks on him when I know I only typically get maybe 12, 10, $12 for these guys. Ah, here they are. All right, so they want $5.99 for him. Oh, this is the one that has sound too. These things sell for about 25 to 30 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab him. Hey, here's a Roblox and, oh, they got some Barbies here. Yeah, so check out this old clown. He actually has two faces. To look into this and see what year he's from. 
Well, I don't see any markings on him. I'm just kind of looking around. I don't see any tags, but I'm pretty sure he's vintage. So they only want a buck 99 for him. I'm gonna grab him and uh, I'll continue to do a little more research. All right, I just pulled this guy off the cart too. He's actually from 1987. So, buck 99. All right, looks like I'll be picking you up today too. Well, dang, this turned into like a plushy haul. So I got four plushes, including this, even though he's got a plastic head. This is actually called a Moody doll. I just had a gentleman in the store come up to me and tell me that these dolls that have like two different faces on each side, they're called Moody dolls, M-O-O-D-Y. So I have to use that as some leverage to research and find out, you know, who makes this. Um, and then of course we got, you know, the T-Rex here. That's a $30 score right there, baby. And then we got like another $30 score right here. I saw this dude right here. Well, not this dude, but I saw other ones that were similar to him also selling for about 20 to 30 bucks. So yeah, we got a nice little haul going. They just brought this out too, this little foosball table. Not gonna get it, but that looks like it would be fun to play. Oh man, how could we forget our boy Buzz? And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Oh wow, check this thing out. That is freaking cool, man. Yeah, if I had room for that, I would totally get that. All right, well, that ended up being a big old haul of plush. Plus the T-Rex. So I probably have, I spent $17 and I can turn that $17 into, I'm gonna guess 80 to 90 bucks. So when I get home, I'll list these up on our eBay store. See if we can make a little kick the cash. All right, up next, Goody Will. We're gonna head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> what you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. All right, fingers crossed, vintage Goodwill gods. Be good to me today. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good right now. I feel like we're gonna get some more epic scores whether it's big money scores or just something i can add to my collection i think we're gonna i think we're gonna do something big today man all right let's see what they got oh look they got that uh pac-man atari game or i'm sorry arcade game there 2552 that's a little much for that oh check out that justice league the art of the film that's cool oh we got a Mustafar Volcano Lab, Star Wars, nice. Oh, what's this? Is this a Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, it sure is. All right, let me check on this because these guys can, these, these Five Nights at Freddy's things can be worth some money sometimes. All right, well, what do we got over here? What's this? That's a little box of dinosaurs. Any other goodies on the shelf? We got any vintage toys? Hey, it's our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. All right, what else? We got an RC Tracer Racers. And not seeing a whole lot of anything else. Well, I just looked this up and it only sells for about seven bucks. So I'm not gonna get it. This dude here is kind of cool. He's from a company called Animal Land. Their monster assortment, 2015. It's kind of like a Build-A-Bear. You build your own plush. He's kind of cool. I'm not going to get him, but he's real soft. And we got this Iron Man bendable figure. I think I've seen these before at like Target like a while back. And we got this Stay... Stay Domo. It's the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Stay Puff Marshmallow. Plushy. All right, guys. Busted. Busted at the Goody Wheel. I mean, they actually had some stuff in there, but 
I'm not paying 25 bucks for that arcade game. That's ridiculous. I think you can get those things at Walmart for like 20 bucks, you know? All right, up next, Thrift Shitty, baby. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> the infamous Thrift City. Hey, guess what? Carson, you guys know Carson, Carson. He just messaged me, sent me a picture of that Power Ranger like Megazord that we just saw over there at Old Thrifty Pants. I said, oh, are you over there right now? Because I was just there and saw that. And he was like, yes. You know what that means? That means I'm two steps ahead of him right now. Yeah, I'm getting the drop on old Carson. I'm gonna be able to hit up all these stores while he's over there hitting up Thrift Giant. I'll be hitting up Thrift City, another Thrift Giant, and Goody Will. So yeah, I got the drop on him today, boy. All right, so fingers crossed, vintage thrift store gods. Be good to me today. All right, well, let's see what we got in baggy land over here. Hmm. Not seeing anything. Looks like a bunch of junk, man. These bags have just been filled with, been filled with garbage lately. Anything down below? No. All right, let's see what they got on the shelves. Oh, check out this. This goes to like a Hot Wheels playset. He actually connects to like a really big tower. I've seen him on the tower before, but I've never seen the whole playset. He's kind of cool, man. What do they want for him? 99 cents? I know it's like quote unquote junk garbage, but he's kind of neat, man. I don't know, I'll think about it. Let's see, what else do we got down here? Oh yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna mug this guy for his sneakers, put him on one of my GI Joes. All right, anything down this way? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Hey, there's another clown, man. Lots of clowns today. Oh, what do we got on the floor down here? Oh, we got a big dragon. Looks like he's missing something up here. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Yeah, what do we got here? Looks like another Air Chargers racetrack thing. Oh, we got Bell from uh, Beauty and the Beast, right? All right, nothing else though. It's a Game Boy Color. Mm. All right, so we don't know if the Game Boy Color works. They want $29.99 for it. They sell for like 180 bucks. I'm gonna take a risk on it. I know it's 30 bucks and I have no idea whether or not it's gonna work or not, but I would kick myself if it does work <laughs> and I didn't get it, so I'm gonna pick it up. All right, I picked it up for 30 bucks. You know, the downside of this is that tomorrow, everything in the store is 50% off, but I'm afraid this might not be there tomorrow. And still, if I if it does work, I mean, I could probably flip it for 150 bucks, you know? I'm still making good money on it, even though I could get it for $15 tomorrow. Man, why couldn't that sell be today? <laughs> All right, up next, we're gonna hit up Old Thrifty Pants on the other side of town over here and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> Man, I am really jazzed up over this thing. This is a Game Boy. I mean, it's a Game Boy that I found in a thrift store. I just hope it works. I gotta find a cord. I gotta find a game. <laughs> like, I at least wanna see if it powers up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to have a game, but I'd like to see if it powers up, that's for sure. So I gotta figure out what kind of cord it takes. In the meantime, we about to head in here and see if we can find some more vintage or retro toys, man. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. All right, let's see what we got on these shelves, huh? What's this down here? Star Wars thing in here, what is this? Jedi's first year calendar, huh? All right, let's see, what's this thing? Texas A&M, got some robots over here. 
Meccano. Anything else? No, it looks like just a bunch of garbage. <laughs> we got another Bucky plush. I'm telling you, this guy is super popular here in Texas. All right, guys, busted. But what a great day, huh? We got some uh, big money plushy scores. We got a Game Boy. Life is good right now. All right, we're gonna head on over to Goody Will, see what kind of goodies they got and see if we can pull out one last epic score. All right, my friends, final destination. And it looks like I beat Carson here. <laughs> nice. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? <laughs> oh, man, anytime I can get the drop on old Carson, it's just icing on the cake to an already fantastic thrift store adventure. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the Goodwill gods are good, the vintage Goodwill gods are good to me today. All right, well, let's see, what do we got? Dear parents and kids, please keep our toys in the shelves or your cart and not the floor. Amen to that. All right, what do we got here? We've got a Snow White. She's got a little articulation there in her arms. Let's get her turned around. There you go. There you go, girl. I just fixed you. All right, what else? Uh, I'm not really seeing anything. We got a TMNT bike helmet. But other than that, anything in plushy land? Any more goodies for me? Oh, look at this. Is this a Paddington bear? It is. Is he older or is he... Is he new? Oh, Cools cares. So he's a newer Paddington. It'd be cool if he was like vintage. Actually, I don't even think that this is Paddington. Is it? Doesn't Paddington have like a yellow hat? I don't know. All right, we'll put him back on the shelf. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> Holy cow! What is up with the clowns today? There's clowns everywhere. <laughs> I think it's kind of creepy, especially this one. This one's real creepy. Like his eyes open and he'll be laying down. His eyes shut. <laughs> creepy ass clown. I want to show you something. So it turns out this doll is made by a company called ARI. It's a German company and this doll was actually from the 1970s. I wasn't able to see this particular doll. I wasn't able to find it on eBay, listed or sold, but I did see another ARI clown doll that looked kind of similar to this that recently sold for 56 bucks over in the UK, but there's not a lot of them selling. Unfortunately, crowns, crowns, clowns just have kind of a creepy stigma to them and they're not very desirable pieces. So I'm gonna probably put him back, but um, it is kind of cool that he's from the 1970s. All right, guys, busted. Hey, by the way, I found out that Game Boy actually takes batteries. So I'll be able to figure out if it works or not. In fact, before we finish up, let me stop in at a Dollar Tree and grab some batteries and plug them in and see if we can get that damn thing to turn on. That would be awesome. All right, I'll see you at Dollar Tree. All right, we're here. Running here to get some batteries. Probably check the toy section too while we're here. Why the hell not, right? All right, I'll see you inside. All right, well, what do we got? We got our normal Final Faction stuff. I just uh, picked up one of these and I'm doing a customization of them. I'll throw up a picture of them here on the screen. You guys let me know what you think but that's the thing about these things is that they're like a dollar a dollar 25 and i mean you can customize them all day long and if you screw up it doesn't matter because they're just a buck 25. and we got some of the uh newer releases down here huntra the export turret we got some drones over here and we got the brute there's the synthoid Oh, and check this out. We got some Final Fashion comics. As a matter of fact, my friend John from Oregon said next time I come across one of these, pick it up for him. So John, I got your back, boy. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pick up a few more of these just so I can 
do some customizing of these ones too. All right, let's get these batteries and then I'll meet you out at the car and we'll see if this Game Boy works. Fingers crossed. All right, guys, I got the Game Boy. I got the new batteries plugged in and uh, we're gonna see if this thing works. So here's the start button. So push down on that. Maybe a hold down on it. Hmm. Oh, what's this? <laughs> I gotta turn it on. Oh! 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 <laughs> it works! It works! That is freaking awesome! Oh man, it's uh, is it powering up? What's going on? I guess maybe. At this point, you plug a game into it, huh? I think over at Craptastic Sam's, I saw some Game Boy cartridges over there. I should pop over there real quick and see if they're still there. They might not be, but it might be worth checking out. So let's shoot on over to old Craptastic real quick and see if they're still there. That would be awesome. I know they were there a week ago, but I don't know if they're still there now. It's worth a shot though. All right, let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang, this is definitely the last stop of the day. Fingers crossed. Game Boy, thrift store gods, be good to me today. I'm pretty sure there were Game Boy cartridges in here. Maybe they were other cartridges. I don't know, I can't really recall. I remember seeing small cartridges i just don't know if they were game boy or just something else so all right well let's see what they got oh those are not game boy i thought they were that's what i was that's what i was thinking about right there but those aren't game boy cartridges but looky at this we got a lisa simpson plushie let's see the beauty queen hmm maybe we'll grab that all right, what's this? Red Mill, Bob's Red Mill. We got some golf balls, some troll stuff. Yeah, nothing else in here. There's some cars, some die cast. Yeah, that Lisa Simpson's from 2003, but it sells for $20 and they want 20 for it, so I'm not getting it. If you make a joke out of it, you are crushing my only hope. <laughs> Let's uh, check the baggies and we'll check the shelves while we're here. All right, well, anything in the shelves? They look kind of picked over a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, Inspector Gadget on VHS. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we got the Secret of Nim. That's cool, too. All right, I think I'm going to grab these. All right, well, we didn't get our Game Boy cartridges, but... We got an Inspector Gadget VHS, which is awesome. This message will self-destruct in 30 seconds. And The Secret of Nim, one of my favorite cartoon movies as a kid. Hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. That really helps me out. It really does. It helps me out a ton because when YouTube sees that you like my stuff, they tend to show my stuff to other people that like the same things you like, which is toy collecting, toy hunting, that sort of thing so it helps my channel grow and i would appreciate it so smash that like button and check out this next video i know you're gonna love it